Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it has been a long time. I hope you all are well. There is so much to talk about. I just want you guys' opinion first on the midterms. So everybody was talking about this red wave. Red's gonna be a red wave. It's gonna be a red. We're gonna take the House. The Republicans are gonna take the House and take the Senate and all this stuff. And you know how I feel. I mean, I've expressed this before. You guys know how I feel with bandwagons. And when I start to see too many of the media, too much of the media, I don't care what side they're on, too much of the media kind of regurgitating the same things, I start to get a little shaky. First of all, I guess, I mean, if you did, if you did feel like there was gonna be a red wave, you know, no shade, I'm not hating on you, whatever. Um, but for me, my first thought was, um, but we haven't even figured out this whole election situation. I mean, you know, um, a couple years ago, there were a lot of shenanigans going on. Although, like I've said in previous videos, I feel like shenanigans have been going on in certain cities uh, for a long, I know shenanigans have been going on in certain cities for, cities for a long time. So until the election stuff, you know, the election laws and everything are proper, I don't really foresee a real um, election happening, you know, like a, a real solid, like voice of the people type election happening. Um, and so I didn't get excited when people started talking about a red wave. I did not at all think there would be a red wave. Why? Because a few years ago, we, like I said, we saw a lot of shenanigans, but I didn't see any real changes to like the drop boxes and all that stuff, mail-in. I didn't see any real changes occur in a lot of states. Some states, I think a few states did some kind of election reform, but not really. I feel like it was maybe for show. So I didn't really expect too much because I felt like, well, I mean, I know some people feel like, well, but if everybody turns out, then we can kind of overhaul the system. It's like, well, I mean, that's kind of wishful thinking. Uh, I didn't really feel like that. I feel like um, if people saw what they could get away with a couple years ago, then obviously they're gonna pull the same thing. And if they can get away with it again this year, which clearly they have, um, I noticed there were specific candidates who um, did not do well in a lot of places um, that where they really should have. Um, we saw a couple years ago that, you know, um, the guy in, in the highest off of the office of the land hung out, um, you know, didn't really do a lot of campaigning or anything. And we saw some similar things happen from candidates this year in the midterms and they won. So, I mean, what is that? You know what I mean? So that's why I didn't get too excited about the red wave. So yeah, it, it is what it is. Am I gonna continue to vote? Well, yeah, because I think, I kind of feel like it's my, my civic duty to do so. Um, it's also your duty not to do so if you feel like you don't want to or whatever. I encourage you to vote anyway um, and, and try to get involved as much as possible possible locally. But I mean, like I said, we need to get these elections, until we can get the election laws under control, I mean, the fix is in, honey, the fix is in. So while we're having our midterm elections and red wave and all this stuff, Russia, the whole thing with Russia, which you all, y'all already know what I think. You already know, I've already, before all this stuff jumped off, I already told you what was going down. You know, the, the, the climate mafia is going to go against every single nation that is not completely on board with the agenda. Um, so last week, I think a couple weeks ago, actually, Brazil had their election. Bolsonaro is out. There were massive, I don't know if you guys heard, there are massive, massive protests because the guy who was elected is an actual um, felon. And of course, he is a super duper uh, socialist. He is already, you know, he has been campaigning on the same thing, you know, Trudeau and everybody else has been campaigning on. And of course, he was installed. Speaking of installations, of presidents. Another thing that has been happening while we've been focusing on our midterms is Haiti. There was a coup in Haiti. Um, it was apparently involving some government, some U.S. government agencies. And then, of course, another guy was, um, became president or, a pre yeah, became president after he was assassinated. 
And now there are rebel forces who were blockading the fuel, the fuel supply over in Haiti. Why? Because they were protesting, protesting the current government that was installed, they Haitian feel, by the U.S. and other Western forces. So the U.S., our government decided it would be a great idea to send troops and weapons and over into Haiti to help the Haitian government deal with the protesters. Yeah, this government has got, the, the war machine is on the move and people are rising up all over the world because globalists are being installed um, against the will of the people in every single country. Speaking of against the will of the people, one last thing I wanna talk about. The 19 juice. Now we're starting to see that heart problems are on the rise in young boys, in, in not even just young boys, in men. Um, we're starting to see other things arise. I have family um, that went ahead and had the thing and within months had a, 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 um, a terminal, got a terminal diagnosis. Not only did they have a terminal diagnosis, but the doctor um, actually said to my family member when they were admitted into the ER that they have seen a an abnormal amount, an abnormally uh, an abnormal increase, I will say, in the amount of 18 to 30 year olds being admitted for this terminal illness. Um, and they don't know what's going on, but then they started to go on and say, oh, well, maybe it's something in the diet. Not to mention there are older people who are showing up, who are, um, are starting to come out of remission out of 20, 30, 40 years. I just have a question for you guys. Like I said, what did you think about the red wave thing? Did you actually think it was gonna be a wave or were you kind of like side-eyeing like I was? And also, have you had to deal now with family, friends who are, or not having to deal with, I shouldn't say that, that's a, maybe not the right way to say it, but are you starting to, are you hearing from family or friends who have, who went ahead and took the you know what and are now having some kind of side effects? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I mean, I'll bet I'm not the only one. Um, I, I know, well, I know, and I don't have to bet. I know I'm not the only one who, you know, knows somebody who is experiencing this because I've been watching the thing unfold the entire time. You guys, I mean, in the comments, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time to listen. And yeah, I will see you next time. And until then, ciao.